Hi, I'm Kevin Millard, and welcome to Story Hour with me. I'm going to be reading from my book, uh, Fry Bread, which was this year's recipient of the Cybert Medal, and it was illustrated by my friend uh, and colleague, Juana Martinez Neal, and she got some great images of of all different looking kinds of native people, uh, including some members of my own family. I'm an enrolled member of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, and I know that reading can be a good thing for all of us to escape all of the kind of things that we're experiencing right now. So uh, I'm really excited to share this thing that took uh, a lot of love and energy and my kids are in it and my family's in here and I'm happy to share all of this with you. So let's get right into it. So this is Fry Bread, a Native American family story. Fry bread is food. Flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, all mixed together in a big bowl. Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball, or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs on the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color, golden brown, tan or yellow, deep like coffee, sienna or earth, light like snow and cream, warm like rays of sun. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup. Smell tacos, cheese, and vegetables. Delight in honey and jam. Rise to discover what brings us together. Who's that right there? That's me. Fry bread is time. On weekends and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art. Sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft, shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Fry bread is history, the long walk, the stolen land, Strangers in our own world, with unknown food, we made recipes from what we had. Fry bread is place, Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, 
over to Oklahoma. That's where I'm from. Colorado and California. Fry bread is nation. Abenaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwe, Onondaga, Oglala Sioux, Narragansett, Navajo, Nipmuc, Seminole, Shoshone, Sac and Fox, hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is everything. Round, flat, large, small, north, south, east, and west. Brown, yellow, black, and white. Familiar and foreign, old and new. We come together. Fry bread is us. We are still here. Elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. That's the end of the book, but that's not the end of the story. So in the back of the book, I include a recipe here. See, there's a picture of me here now with short hair. When we were making the book, I had much longer hair and then I cut it. Uh, so this is me with my short hair. And here's a recipe in the back of the book. And then here's a picture of my grandma. She's my great aunt, but I call her my grandma because I never knew my grandma. So then she became my grandma. And so this is kind of her recipe for fry bread that I changed a little bit and made it more um, modern. I kind of changed some of the ingredients, but I encourage you to go out and do your own cooking this weekend or this week and challenge yourself to make something that you haven't made before. Maybe that could be something like fry bread. Well, I've enjoyed doing this story time with you. I hope you've learned something new. I've enjoyed reading with you and I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing some people that are in my family. Uh, see, there's me, uh, there's my son right here, here's my baby, uh, here's my partner right there, there's my mom, uh, here's my little niece, and then some other people that we included in there too. So this was great for us to spend some time together and keep reading and definitely go out and make something new and treat yourself to something that tastes really, really good. Bye-bye.